Hi everyone, so today in this video I'm going to share with you what I packed in my hospital bag for labor and delivery. I am due in six days, so hopefully she'll come out in six days. And I originally was thinking about putting, I originally wanted to put my um, stuff in a roll-on duffel bag, but my mom insisted that I put it just in a regular bag, so I did, and then since she saw how bulky it kind of was, she now wants me to put it in a roll-on bag, so I had to transfer it from one bag to the other. It's kind of high maintenance to keep everything calm and everything. I just, you know, um, go with the flow and, you know, if she's insistent on something, then, you know, I'll, I'll let her win. So, um, this is what the bag looks like. This is the bag that it currently is in. Um, it's not, like, crazy heavy, but, you know, it's kind of big and bulky or whatever. And this is just a duffel bag. I never used it um, that I got from, like, a Facebook event. So, um, on the top of this, of my bag, I packed a whole bunch of breastfeeding things, and I showed this in my pregnancy update video, and they are these, um, Medela items or whatever. <laughs> um, one is called Theraschels, and this is supposed to protect your nipples from the clothing. And then this is called Soft Shells, which is supposed to, it's a soft shells for sore nipples, and it's supposed to help with inverted nipples, I think. Um, I'm not really sure what the difference between these two are because they both do kind of look the same, but I bought both just in case. I can always return return them if I have to, um, and if, hopefully I'll see, well hopefully I won't have any breastfeeding problems, but if I do, then hopefully I'll be able to see a lactation consultant and she can tell me whether I should use these or not. And then I also got this, packed hit this, which is um, a nipple everter, and I have a uh, inverted nipples. So I use this when I breastfed with my first daughter and it kind of just helps draw the nipple out so it won't, you know, because it's inverted it helps draw it out and it'll make the whole breastfeeding thing hopefully more pleasant. And then I also packed this little kind of like uh, informational guide thing that I got when I at the hospital that I delivered my first daughter and it's just a breastfeeding guide and um, I just just in case I have any questions or I need more information or whatever then um, I have this right with me. I don't know if the hospital that I'm going to is going to um, if they're gonna have like this kind of informational material but I just thought since I already have it then I might as well pack it. And then I packed let's see I packed um, in here. I have all my toiletries, so this is what it looks like. I, I did put all the liquids. I know I'm not traveling like to an airport or whatever, but I did put my liquids just in case so it doesn't, um, if it leaks, it doesn't ruin the bag or whatever. Um, so I have lotion, shampoo, conditioner, and soap. And then I also have a thing of lanolin for breastfeeding. I don't know if the hospital provides that. I can't remember. I have a pad just in case, but I imagine that they will provide me pads um, if I need it. And then I have some toothpaste. This is, uh, I have sensitive teeth, so this is the kind that I use. And then I have a toothbrush and I have mouthwash, which is just a trial size and it came with something or whatever. This is not the kind that I use, but this is the kind that I have. And um, this is also a, it was like a, I don't know, I, maybe I got this at the dentist. And this is not the kind that I use, but this is, the, uh, this is just like a small one that I'm just going to throw in. Uh, dental floss. And then I have a comb, just a small one. And then I have Vaseline, which is, this is the kind that I use at night for my lips because I kind of have big lips or whatever. And so I use Vaseline at night so to prevent chat lips. And that is all that is in my uh, personal item bag. And then I have this, which I used um, in my first pregnancy, postpartum. And it's just basically like a, it's a waistband. Here, actually, here's a better picture. It's a waistband. And I used this solid for like three months after I gave birth. Not because I was trying to like cinch my waist or lose weight or anything like that, but um, after I gave birth, like, my stomach, my abdominal muscles were just very weak, and, like, when it was supported, it felt better, otherwise it would just hang, and it would be really uncomfortable. So I actually wore this 
for a solid three months. Um, and I wore it like all the time except when I took a shower. Like I even slept with it just because it just felt better when it was when my when my stomach was kind of supported. So I definitely recommend this if you are expecting and you are um, like right after your delivery. And um, and then here I have a little baggie of uh, baby clothes and I have a little kimono shirt. Here, let me show you what I have. Um, I have this little thing, it's like a baby gown. And um, this is without the feet, it's just basically like a potato sack kind of thing. It has like a hole down here. And I really love these things, especially for, for, for newborns. And then I have a, uh, just like a, a short sleeve onesie, like this. I probably won't use this. This, this, this stuff I packed before I got this, this going home outfit, um, but I'll pack, I'll like pack it anyway. And then this hat is the hat, um, my first daughter got from the hospital and it's like really soft. And a lot of the baby hats that you get in stores, sometimes they're like too tight or too thick or whatever. This is like really thin, it's really stretchy, and so I'm going to bring this. I really love this hat for my daughter. <laughs> and then, um, and then I, so I put this all in a plastic bag to kind of like keep it clean and everything. And then I packed, and this is going to look really weird, but I packed this shirt that I, I made. Um, I basically cut a shirt down the middle and like I said I kind of had problems breastfeeding and I sew these um, strings on it so I it, it would just be like open front tie and um, this was just this is like what I wore for a lot of my um, a lot of the beginning of postpartum because my nipples are sore and it was just easier to you know wear I needed something loose I didn't have I didn't have these shells so maybe these shells will allow me to wear normal clothes but this is the shirt that I wore so I'm going to bring this and then um, I also brought when you're breastfeeding like wearing button-down shirts or like open front shirts are like a must-have so I brought this shirt um, this is a really old shirt, but um, it's really soft and comfortable, and it's basically just like this. It's like, but it goes buttoned down all the way. It's just a long sleeve shirt. And then the weather here has been really um, like on and off. Sometimes it'll be like really hot, or it'll be really cold. And so I packed kind of for like all seasons, kind of. Obviously, it's not freezing cold, but um, I packed like short sleeve, long sleeve, things like that. And then this is a scarf, which I used in my first pregnancy as well. And this is also good for breastfeeding. It's like really big and you can just like wrap, wrap it around, like wrap it, wrap, wrap it around you um, when you're breastfeeding. Or if you like, honestly, in the beginning of my last pregnancy, I, I walked around topless around the house like all the time. And I would, I would just like wear this to kind of like cover up. So I packed that, and then I did pack a nursing bra, but I honestly didn't use a nursing bra that much in my first pregnancy because my nipples were so sore or whatever, but um, I'm bringing this just in case, and this I got from Target, so I don't know what brand it is. It's called Basics, but um, it's just one I got from from Target and like I said I didn't really use it but I'm just packing it just in case and then um, going along with what I was mentioning about um, like I don't know what temperature it's gonna be I packed a pair of shorts and then I packed a pair of like capri leggings and then I packed a pair of long pajama pants and then I also packed a pair of um, like long leggings um, for when I go home and then I also packed a button down flannel shirt in case it's cold again button down is like what you what you need when you're when you're breastfeeding and then I packed uh, two sets of underwear and that I think is it let me check the side pockets ah more breast stuff um, I got contact nipple shield 
and this is to use and this is kind of like the picture that they have in the back but um, like it looks like this and it's and it's a uh, like a silicone thing and it's supposed to help um, I think you're supposed to put it on your breasts when you're breastfeeding and it's for flat slash inverted nipples or latch on difficulties so a unique shape allows more contact between mom and baby and I actually bought two because I didn't know what size I was I got a small and a medium um, again I can always return this if I don't use them and I didn't use this when um, with my first daughter so I, I don't know if it's good or not um, I think I'll probably do a breastfeeding update later on when the baby comes and then I also have um, a camera charger and a 32 gig memory card and then the camera that I'm using and I cleared out all of my um, I cleared out all of my well not all of them but I cleared out most like thousands literally thousands of pictures on my phone and so I think that is it now I'm going to pack and put it in the bag so I hope this video was helpful um, if you are expecting and you don't know what to pack hopefully this will give you some sort of idea of maybe what things you can pack. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I'll leave all my social media links down below and probably somewhere on the screen and please follow me elsewhere as well and I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!